group of islanders that uh, would come after work that certainly play golf differently to what uh, a normal golf club would see. So we, we saw the need um, to, to bring the islanders in to the club. They were at another golf club and uh, they lived a lot closer here and just found it a great, uh, great facility. People, they found the people more friendly and uh, so we made them very welcome. Well, I guess the best thing about it is uh, being part of this club and playing here is the, uh, the grounds now is, and, and the people. And the people are very uh, friendly and, you know. And to bring the whole club on the journey was very simple. Accommodating club, friendly club, looking for change, looking for some, something new to pop up out of nowhere and that's what happened and everybody's just embraced it and got on with the journey. We can't do anything in the club that's going to um, improve the club without that buy-in. Working long women is so important. If you want their husbands not only just playing, yeah, you want the women playing as well, you've got to have the whole family involved. Our club is and has always been inclusive of women. We've got a really high percentage of members that are women. We've always had generally a half and half on our governance committee or our committee of management. It's not different for us because we've always done it. You look out for grants, there's often council grants, uh, government grants put out. Also, you'll find there's a lot of people who've had uh, sets for kids at home for their own children and they no longer use them and have been more than willing to donate them to help out. Get somebody on your committee that is willing to search for funding where, wherever it comes. We have been quite successful with our grants because we look outside the square. Oh, there's been uh, quite a few challenges. Uh, one of the things, the sheer speed that they move at, it's just a no mess around. It become a no-brainer just to let them go, let the islanders enjoy their golf, and that's why they want to keep coming back. With us being uh, Pacific Islanders, we're quite family orientated, and um, uh, and part of the, the big thing about us moving here was um, that Redcliffe has sort of um, allowed us to use the facility in because most of our people are working all the time and, and it's, it's mainly after work that we get together as a community or as families and, and the club has allowed us to use the facility for that sort of, um, you know, accommodated that sort of part of um, the families. It's about sitting down and talking to the participants, like finding out what they want because it's not always what you think that they want. We've recently um, put in the playground, which has been um, a really good success. And that was to cater mainly for us because when we come here, we bring families and kids are normally, you know, we try and keep them, as kids you can't keep them off the other uh, greens all the time, but having something like that in place uh, sort of helps control them, I guess. <laughs> We're hoping that we can um, build on that and um, as the children go through the playground because they're too too small that they will um, go to the next stage, grab the clubs, grab the foot um, soccer balls um, and then sort of stay within the club. We've had you know great success with the Islanders um, but there are other um, cultural groups out there that will come into the club, build our club through either golf, foot golf or whatever else, whatever else the programs that we deliver. Oh, they're catering. Uh, when we had like President's Day, they brought in uh, a pig and a sheep to put on the spit. They also then went and got chops, sausages, and they wanted to put that on as a thank you to what the Reckless Golf Club had done for them. Uh, that day was quite special, actually. That's not even our whole, the whole of the community of us here, but um, as Pacific Islanders, I suppose, um, we love food and and, and, and the way we do our food is we do, we do like to share amongst um, families and, and, 
and a little barbecue means that there's, a, there's normally a, a whole pig and a, and a whole sheep there. So it's one of them things, yeah. Uh, long term, of course, it's the stability is the greatest thing and increasing our uh, membership growth, which in the last three years we've uh, done, made great inroads there. We've increased our membership and it's gone up again. And the idea is to retain your members. And it's also a more youthful membership too, which is a great uh, bonus for us. The club itself, uh, from the president, from all the, uh, you know, the the board and whatever, um, uh, they really, really have been really outstanding, and um, and in in the way they've um, welcomed us in. It's a really, uh, it's a great atmosphere.